you know, if I'm really honest, I feel like the colorist probably should have put in a little more time. Of course. But the cinematography itself really reminds me of the work of Roger Deakins. Right. It adds a nice epic feel to the piece, which it really, really needed. This, of course, is the setup for the later payoff regarding the wounded bear, which I always thought was a little heavy-handed. A lot of this is heavy-handed. Look at the costume that I'm wearing there as younger brother. There's a belt on the outside of my shirt, a shin guards, even though I've never played soccer. So you start to wonder, kind of like in a Victorian era novel, is this character going to turn out to be crazy? And you know, I fought this edit so hard. I really always wanted the establishment shot to come later, like right there. Right there. Right. It's ominous enough already. I mean, you really do get the sense that we do not want to go into this Yeah, those cave. characters. You can tell by the way they're walking that they don't want to get down there. This is an incorporation of what Vogler talks about, where the hero has to go into the inmost cave and face his inner deepest, darkest fears. Keep going! Right, and sometimes it's love that drives him there. Sometimes it's just an over-controlling mother. Good. Right, and you can even hear the father being the voice of reason here. That's good. That's good! There's a bear! We also learn a little bit about the characters here, that the younger brother's the hero because the, the older brother's just an utter coward. And that really has to come as a surprise. You'd think if one of the characters were a coward, it would be the one wearing the shin guards and the belt outside of his shirt. No, there's not bears, there's just snakes. We learn now the mother's been threatening him with snakes, and so he's wearing these shin guards as protection. He's already learned that a belt makes a fine tourniquet. Yeah. It's actually quite a genius character. We're dealing right, with. and then of course the characters ascend from their inmost cave. It's like a rebirth or a resurrection. 